Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different uh, than giving you tips or useful information. Today I would actually just wanted to talk about my hair loss journey and the emotional impact that I've had getting these two hair transplants. Now, if you have been following my channel, you know that I went for two hair transplants in Turkey the last two years. You know, I was losing hair quite a bit on the top of my scalp as well as my crown. And the fact that I had to go back for a second one was even more jarring for me. But I felt like I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about this particular aspect of it, which is the emotional impact of how one actually feels when going for a hair transplant and how they deal with it with their hair loss journey. I hope that sharing this experience with you helps somebody out there as well because I'm, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. I know this for a fact because when I went to that hair transplant clinic, everyone had the same exact feeling as me. They were terrified. They weren't sure if this is the right thing to do. And I wanted to make this video in hopes to alleviate some of that stress on anyone who's considering getting a hair transplant. So to start off with my hair loss story, I started losing hair when I was close to 22 or 23. I didn't start noticing it until I was maybe about 24 or 25, and I didn't think much of it. Back in the day, I didn't know anything about getting better hair or treatments that help keep your hair or getting on medical therapy. I didn't know any of that stuff. For me, it was more like, oh, you're losing hair. I guess that's just the way it is. I never had the education back in the day for someone to teach me about how to maintain good hair health. And I think that was my biggest downfall. Had I known about certain things such as minoxidil or finasteride back in the day, I might not have lost all my hair. But that was the thing and that was happening gradually year by year and I couldn't really do anything about it. Fast forward to about 27 or 28, I discovered hair fibers and that was my saving grace to be honest for a long time. I was using that whenever I could to go out. It was giving me a lot of hair density and I really enjoyed it. But at the same time, I knew for a fact that I had certain limitations like jumping in the pool or standing out in the rain. Those things always would limit me in wanting to do what I wanted to do. And it sucked, but that was what the sacrifice I had to make because of that. Fast forward to when I was 31, I realized that I was losing more and more hair day by day and my fibers was not going to cut it anymore. It was pretty obvious at this point and it was tough, you know, it was really tough to live with that fact that shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be bald. And I really didn't want to do that, but I was seriously considering just shaving it off. But then of course, fast forward to about two years ago, I started to do more and more research about a hair transplant and I decided to take the plunge. Of course, deciding to go for a hair transplant is also a whole nother emotional roller coaster to go through because you got to find out what is a very trustable clinic where is a good clinic? Which country is a good clinic? Because all these questions were thrown at me and I had to decide on what to do. What was the most important thing to me? Getting a really expensive doctor and spending a bomb or getting a very affordable one and going straight to Turkey? At the time, I didn't have that much cash to go splurge on a hair transplant. I think in the US, it was they were costing me $20,000 and I was not prepared to spend that amount. So I decided to go to Turkey instead. And of course, my decision to go to Turkey was based off of what I was reading online and seeing videos off of other people's reviews. To me, I felt like if I didn't do this, if I didn't tell myself, at least I tried, I think I'd live in regret all my life. And it was something that I really, really wanted to do to make sure I told myself that I at least did my best at this. I lost a lot of confidence before that. And even getting to do this hair transplant brought down even more confidence because once I got to the clinic on my own, in all honesty, I was terrified. I had immediate second thoughts the moment I reached Turkey and I just I just thought to myself am I doing the right thing is this really what I want to do being there on my own not knowing the language not knowing the people just jumping head first into uh, head first head first into the situation of getting a hair transplant I could not believe that I had actually got it done when they first shaved my head off at the clinic I didn't think I looked that bad but still I knew I wanted to get a full head of hair However, I think the one thing that really put me off was that I didn't get it all done at that first go. The clinic in Turkey when I got there said that I would only have enough grafts to take out from my hairline and my mid scalp and I have to come back for a second time for my crown. That was the worst news I could have ever heard because already going through one hair transplant is such a big emotional toll on you. Going through it again is just gonna, 
just it wasn't what I wanted to do. I was upset. I was I was extremely upset. But at the same time, since I had already got to Turkey, I was like, I have to get this done. I, I can't go back not trying to get this done. So I got it done. Those first two nights alone in the hotel in Turkey, I felt really sad. I felt depressed a little bit, but I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, I've done this. I don't know if this is the right decision. And you know, it, it sucked. It, it's not gonna lie. I, it sucked for the first two days. As the months went on, it still did not feel any better because you're still sitting in your bald state with a lot of grafts implanted on your head. You don't look good. The first two months, especially, you go through a shedding phase where, or the ugly duckling phase that comes after that. It's just, it's not the best. It does not look good at all. There are so many challenges that come with a hair transplant, such as trying to sleep for the first two weeks, trying to wash your hair on your own for the first two weeks, going through the shedding phase, going through the ugly duckling phase. Those first three months after a hair transplant is never easy for anybody, and it really brings down your confidence. Like, it doesn't make you feel good about yourself. However, all I can say is that I think patience is a virtue in this situation. I learned that the hard way, going through it first on my own and experiencing it firsthand. I realized that it was all just a moment in time. Those three months go by so fast that you don't even realize how fast they've gone by. And your hair looks tremendous after that. By the fourth, fifth, sixth month, your hair starts to grow rapidly. I think from the eighth to the tenth month is where your hair really starts to explode. And not by a little, I mean I mean a lot. I'm thankful enough that I have this channel to document my entire journey from start to finish of my first hair transplant at least, and it's changed so much about me as a person. I'm able to walk out more confidently and speak to people and not have to worry about standing out in the rain anymore. And even being on YouTube for that matter of fact, like just being able to be on camera and talk to you without worrying about my hairline. It's it's such a rewarding feeling to know that this has happened because I made that choice to get it done. I started noticing my confidence levels through the roof. I started noticing myself being more outspoken. I started noticing so many different things about myself, learning about new things and even a hair transplant in general, things I never knew before. I've started to become someone who's who knows everything about it and I'm, I'm really thankful for that because it's let me build what I have today, which is a relationship with you guys, the community, and it's I'm super thankful for that. Even when I went back for a second hair transplant and recorded the entire thing for you guys, I was so thankful that I got such good, good and positive responses from everybody because I wanted to show everyone what I didn't get to see back when I had my first hair transplant. And honestly, every video I make now is mainly for you guys to hopefully get some sort of information before you guys get your hair transplants or even after you've already gotten one. All I can say is that getting a hair transplant is a personal decision, but it is something that a lot of people think about and are worried about. But I wanna say that I'm at least one of the guys online to try to be there to help you because I understand how exactly you feel. That's really all about what I wanted to talk about on this video. I just wanted to pour out my emotional impact that I felt before and after a hair transplant. If this is something you can relate with as well, you know, I try to just check out the other videos on my channel. I have a bunch of other tips and advices on things before a hair transplant or after. I also have a service that you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me and talk about anything about a hair transplant. I'll leave that link in the description. We can have a talk and, you know, hopefully bring back some of that confidence for yourself as well. All right, if you did like this video, do consider liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. I'm happy to respond whenever I can. And don't forget, we're all in the same boat, guys. I've been there. And if you're in there right now, hopefully we can get that confidence back for you too. I'll leave you guys with that and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.